very warm welcome to Joburg Today. I'm your host, Riley Saganiposakwe, bringing you nothing but the best when it comes to local Josie stories. Are you looking for an environmentally friendly way to bring life to your garden? Well, if that's the case, here is a chemical-free winter gardening project that you should consider. The ultimate in ecologically friendly gardening is most probably turning that sapphire blue swimming pool into a natural pool. It is a considerable investment and it takes a fair amount of work. Jane Griffiths has been nurturing an organic garden for years. Tired of fixing swimming pool leaks and treating the water with chemicals, the Griffiths pool was covered up for years. However, Tosca the puppy growing up triggered the conversion of the pool. And then she grew into a 30 kilogram dog and the edges of the, the netting and the trampoline started wearing away and I thought, you know, she's just going to drown. And we instantly uncovered the pool. And the surprising thing was is that the water was actually very clear. And I'd heard about these natural pools, pools filtered with using plants. A natural swimming pool is a, a swimming pool where it, the water is being cleaned by a natural process. The way a natural pool works is that the water of the pool uh, is circulated through a biological filter. A biological filter is <clears throat> an aerobic filter, in other words an oxygen breathing filter. Uh, we then have some physical filters which is usually a whole lot of gravel which then stops any particles in the water. Uh, and then on top of that we have a whole lot of plants and what the plants do is they absorb the excess nutrient from the water. So what you end up with then is clean pure water. Any swimming pool owner tired of using chemicals could be a candidate for a natural pool. With our natural process you're you're working with nature to clean the pool. So really when somebody's tired of fighting nature continuously, of throwing chemicals in to fight nature, of spending money to fight nature. If anyone's considering starting this, be aware it's like any building process. It's going to be disruptive. You use a huge amount of gravel, for example, in a wetland pool. There's half of the deep end is actually filled up with gravel. But just, you know, bear with it because the end result will be so worth it. There is no formula to it. Um, it really is a design process. A natural pool is a lot better for the environment, for the natural environment, for your garden environment. A pool like this you'll find in winter, particularly here in Johannesburg, you'll have queues of birds coming to get water from it. The big advantage with these systems also is you don't backwash out continuously, so you're not losing water, you're not throwing water away. Um, you do get evaporation like you do with a normal swimming pool. Um, you probably get a little bit more evaporation because you generally have a larger surface area. But from a cost point of view, uh, a natural swimming pool is cheaper to run than a, than a chemical pool, mainly because you're not using any chemicals and the chemicals are expensive. From a pumping point of view, we use much more efficient pumps, but then you're running the pumps 24 hours a day. So you save a bit, but you don't save huge amounts of, uh, of electricity. We use this area so much more now. It has integrated what used to be a very sterile area into the rest of my organic garden. We use it all summer for swimming, but then we use it all winter as well for a beautiful meditative place that is really integrated into the garden. I guess since a natural pool can also be considered an alternative water source, all that's left is to try it first. Marisa de Clark, Joburg today. As always, we love hearing from you, so do yourself that favor and hit the like button on our Facebook. That's joburgtoday.tv or follow us on Twitter at joburgtoday. Keeping with all things garden related, some people are going out there and using Mother Nature to create beautiful works of art. We're at the Amarantia Botanical Gardens where you don't have to search too far for artistic inspiration. And we have 20 local artists who use trees, willow vines, you know, things that you can actually use to go back to nature. Land art is about walking somewhere in nature, finding material and making some sort of an intervention. Essentially a sculpture or some, even a drawing made out of leaves, which looks like a painting, or even drawing in the sand. Um, and finding what's there and using it to show that a human being has been there, um, but without 
destroying or damaging or devastating nature. I just want to create an awareness of how important trees are to us and we are living in the biggest man-made forest so it would be very really sad to see it go. I'm using seeds and that from the park that I've gone and collected and leaves and then I've just brought with some um, thread that I'm just threading and I made the the wooden leaves at home where I've got little sayings on, on creating awareness. I've been coming to the Johannesburg Botanical Gardens here at Emerentia for many years with family, with friends and I'm surprised how many people in Johannesburg don't know about this space which is filled with trees and water and beautiful lawns and a wonderful place to be with your family. My art piece actually is more about the spiritual places where everybody can come and worship his ancestors or his creator. As you can see it's in a circle form of which cycle it just represent a life is itself. So the chairs are inside maybe for the old ones so that they can teach the young ones where they belong or they are used in other ways. I was just using a hammer and a chisel to get through so that my idea will come as solid as the way I was told it will be. I'm with my Larato Kwena for Joba today. What's up, what's up? My name is Christopher Jafta and you are watching Joburg Today. And like all good things, they must come to an end. But be sure to check out our playlist to see what's happening in and around your beautiful city. That's it from me, Riley. I bid you farewell and hope you have a blessed day.